And this afternoon, we are working to learn how a 15 year old is doing after being shot by police. It happened near Six Flags over Georgia over the weekend. Cobb County police say that they fired back after fights within the park. 11 Alive's Ariana Manis has more details on what exactly happened. It was really good. It wasn't that busy. There were several rides that were closed. Um, but the lines weren't really that bad. Thrill seekers were back at Six Flags over Georgia Sunday hours after what can be described as chaos outside the park on Saturday. <laughs> Opening day at Six Flags ended with multiple fights as a crowd of 500 to 600 guests ran through the park, according to the GBI. Shots were fired at police where an unoccupied Cobb County police car was hit on South Service Road in Austell. Officers shot back at the group who opened fire, hitting a 15 year old. The team was rushed to the hospital. A day later, some say that although they knew of the incident, it did not scare them away. I did seem a little more empty than, than usual, but um, ultimately I felt, I felt safe. Saturday's shooting comes almost one year after a large group of young people were kicked out of Six Flags on opening day for, quote, inappropriate behavior. A spokesperson for the park says that this year's opening day was disappointing, but they're committed to safety and security, something guests say they noticed the next day. I see a little more security people than normal, but it wasn't alarming. Six Flags went on to say that while the shooting took place off property, they won't put up with that type of activity. And guests say as long as the only thrills they experience are on the rides, they feel safe enough to continue visiting the park. Cautions to be able to have more, more police around, uh, so I don't see why I'm not. So 11 Alive also asked a Six Flags spokesperson if there are any plans to change the rules regarding minors visiting the park without an adult. We have not yet received a response.